you are back. Don't act so happy to see me. Let's see here. Your next mission requires this neon rank. Well, look at that. Your neon rank is sufficient to move on to a new assignment. You've earned yourself a heavenly delight ticket. How fun. One moment while I check on Mr. Mikey's schedule. Ah, Mr. White, go right ahead. Thanks, Gabby. By the way, are those new glasses very sharp? <laughs> Please, sir. I'm on the clock. Mikey, my main man. Good to see you. You're in better spirits today. Your pep talk really helped clear my head. Figured I just gotta keep my eye on the prize and all that. Mm. You're up to something, aren't you? But, what? Don't try to hide it. Old Mikey can sniff these things out from a mile away. You're paranoid. Just, just give me my mission. That's right, your mission. Uh, you're off to Hanging Gardens today. Real swanky place. Only the elite live up there. They rarely even let me in. That place attracts some tricky demons, though. It's a high-level zone. So, I probably won't run into too many neons around there, huh? Uh, probably not. Though, that reminds me. You've got a secret admirer. <laughs> Say what? Some girl burst in earlier asking about you. Beg me to give her a head start at the Hanging Gardens. Some girl? Is he talking about... Ooh, you think he wants to confess? This can't be good. Excuse me, Mikey. <laughs> Maybe love really can bloom on a battlefield. Welcome to the Heavenly Delights Kiosk. Would you like to redeem a ticket? You have... Here's my ticket. Splendid. One moment, please. Such potential! Perhaps... Mikey, this place doesn't seem so... Ah! Ah, sheesh. Tripwires? Are you enjoying my little presents, White? <sighs> I suspected these might be your doing. Must have taken a long time to set all this up for little old me. Oh, don't worry. It was so worth it to watch you squirm. One wrong step and bits of your flesh will rain down on these gardens like confetti. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Don't you have a mission you should be doing, little weirdo? Oh, what's wrong? Scared I might send you back to hell today? <laughs> Not really. To be honest, these little traps seem like fun. Fun? What can I say? I like the rush. <gasps> You're not. She's still pissed about yesterday, even though she started it. What a pain.
getting started. Okay, let's keep it going. started.
There you are. Find out anything useful? Not yet. I was about to hit up the stragglers in Lower Heaven. Aw, oh, abandoning me already? Oh, whatever will you do without me? Fly ten red, sitting in a tree. E-A-T-S-H-I Oh, Violet. I was hoping I'd get a chance to compliment you on your work out here. Your traps have really been keeping me on my toes. Like I care about your toes. <laughs> They've actually gotten a bit too easy for me. Maybe you could make them, I don't know, a little less predictable. White, you sure talk a big game for someone who just stood by while your friend got killed. Jesus, why? I wonder what you'll do when green comes for red next. Will you give up, crumple into a ball and cry? Oh, I just don't know if I want to wait that long to find out. Maybe I could just... Kill her myself. That's enough. <laughs> that little brat. Just a few days ago, she was calling me a great teacher. Well, how about I teach her a lesson she won't forget? <sighs> Come on, White. Let it go. Let it go. She just threatened to kill you girl has issues. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong, but this is kind of all she knows. At a time when most young people are learning how to process their feelings, Violet was picking locks and slashing throats. You saying we don't have sympathetic backstories of our own? Yes, well, we were a bit older when we got into our line of work. I just can't help but feel for her. In life, she always seems so lonely. Lonely, huh? How am I supposed to work with that? You're a smart boy. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Wait, do you really think I'm smart? Sure, for a baby. Not this again. Go back to complimenting me. Tell me I'm sexy or something. I can't tell a baby he's sexy. I'll go to jail. For the last time, I'm not a baby!
didn't even break a sweat. Not bad. I'll take it. Violet, can we talk? What? You want to rub it in my face that you're not dead yet? No, I, I just wanted to apologize for how things went down yesterday. I don't want an enemy in you. I... I don't want an enemy in you either. But I need you to know that what you said earlier was callous and out of line. <laughs> About your flesh confetti? Yeah, no. No! I, I meant what you said about Red. Well, don't expect me to apologize for it. Red, she'll milk you for all you've got, then stab you in the back. Damn it, Violet. No, I'm not doing this again. You can't keep accusing our friends of trying to kill me, spring literal death traps on us, then expect me not to consider the possibility that you are the crazy murderer around here. Uh, newsflash, bozo. All your friends are crazy murderers. That's why we're all here in the first place. What makes you think Red is any more trustworthy than me? Has she told you anything about your life? About Green? Oh, she told me all about Green. Really? So, then you must already know who he used to be. Why would that matter? Oh, it matters so much. You of all people would agree. What the hell are you going on about? Ugh, you dummy. 
Green was our old boss. Uh. Why would Red keep that a secret from you, I wonder? <laughs> Seems kind of messed up if you ask me. Oh, you're full of it. Hey, don't take my word for it. You can always ask Green yourself. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? I'm seeing far fewer neons in the pews today. A sure sign that we're past the halfway mark. The riffraff has been thoroughly culled, but that is no invitation to rest. After all, salvation will be granted only to those who reach above and beyond their productivity quotas. <clears throat> I have something I'd like to say. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Green, uh, go right ahead. White! Huh? Meet me in the Hanging Gardens later. I'd like to speak with you. That is all. Green. What the hell? This is so embarrassing. Ah, to be singled out by our champion. Ooh, how fortunate for Neon White. There is truly no better motivator than that of a passionate rivalry. A rivalry is a two-way street, so just don't let him engage with you, White. We've got other plans. Hello? Are you listening? Hey, Red. Do you know anything about who Green used to be? In life? I... I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. He must have been a real character, huh? I'd, uh, imagine so. Ah, oh, well. I guess it's not that relevant to our goals, anyhow. Mm, no, it's not. But that reminds me. I did meet up with a Neon who seems like she might know some more information. I was hoping it wouldn't be true. But she's definitely hiding something. It's written all over her face. Go ahead. Keep your secrets, Red. I'll uncover the truth myself. 